And now let's have the introduction for the graph of quadratic function. The standard form is f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to zero. So our condition is a must not be equal to zero. Why? Because if a is zero, then it will not be a quadratic function anymore. It will give you a linear function. And f of x can be written as y. So it's also written as y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay? And our vertex form is f of x is equal to a quantity x minus h squared plus k, where a is not equal to zero. Again, our condition is not equal to zero because that will give you, in this case, will give you a constant function. We're in our vertex form, hk is the vertex. When we say vertex, the turning point of our parabola. Okay. The highest or the lowest point of the parabola. Now, parabola, that is, or the curve, this is the graph of our quadratic function. It can be in this form, opens downward, and also opens upward. That is the graph of the quadratic function. And we can determine the opening of the parabola. So if A is greater than 0, that means the value of A is positive. Therefore, therefore the parabola opens upward, in upward direction. So our curve is opens upward, in this case. And if A is less than zero, that means our A is negative, the parabola opens down Word. So the position is like this one. So we have, we also have the shortcut formula for the vertex. The turning point of the parabola, the vertex. The HK is equal to negative B over 2A and for K, 4AC minus B squared all over 4A. Okay. If the question is just find the vertex of the parabola, then we can use this form. So that is the quadratic function. After this video, our next lesson is the graphing of quadratic function.